Welcome back! Nick and Lex here! Hey everyone! How's it going guys? <laughs> so today we got some sad news. Of course everybody knows this is a big shock to the prog world. Yes. You know, prog rock has been, um, you know, Deprived. lost one of his great drummers of, I mean, of the of this century, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, the great Alan White and um, we're gonna you know, pay tribute to him uh, with the song, uh, which is literally called The Remembering mm -hmm. slash High the Memory. So it's very, I guess. Very fitting. And what I love about this is that it also seems, or it also happens to be um, a raffle winner request by George McDowell. So thank right. you so much to George. He won the raffle as a member of La Familia. He requested the remembering slash high the memory. It's almost like he knew this was going to happen. Yes. Today, which he which requested kinda... it before this occurred. Oh, like a month ago. Yes. And it, it mm -hmm. did take him some time to get back to us to let us know what he wanted once the raffle was won. Um, but now we're happy to be doing this for you, George. Thank you yeah. so much. And yes, may Mr. Alan White rest in peace. Um great drummer and it's been a while since we've done yes yeah so now <laughs> uh, since we didn't really know about this album it's really cool that it was inspired um by paramahansa yogananda yes who's a yogi of my mom as well mm -hmm. um but also we did some like we never do this but we looked on wikipedia about the whole process and it was the first album for alan white after bill bruford he left um, and then Alan White joined for this album. Mm -hmm. And this album was a little bit chaotic, the whole process, because like John wanted to like record out in the open, you know, in the forest with the amps uh, or no, with the electricity uh, <laughs> providing machines. What do you call them? Like, generators. The generators like under the ground, under the ground buried. And they told him like, hey, get a laugh. <laughs> they literally told him that. And then he was like, well, then I'm just going to bring it to the studio. And he brought plants in, a mechanical cow, just to give Rick it Rick Wakeman feel. brought stacks of hay yeah. also. It's so like, crazy. Must I... have been very interesting to ju just live all that. And at the same time, Black Sabbath was recording Bloody Sabbath literally in the other studio. So Rick Wake Wakeman would just go over there and like, record with them and... They were paying him with beer. So there's a lot of trivia on yes. Wikipedia about this album. Um, and it was uh, a, two, uh, a double album. So Rick Wakeman was not very happy with the idea. So there was a lot of tension uh, going on because um, the majority of the band wanted to stay in London. Others wanted to go on the countryside. Mm -hmm. So... But yeah, but this is but the result. But Alan White was the tiebreaker as far as where they were going to record. Mm -hmm. So that was what was cool. And this was his first album ever with the band. Well, yes, yeah. So. so it's so crazy that like, you know, all this trivia. And then, I mean, you guys knew this since like 40 years ago or over 40 years, this trivia. But we just found out today. And then, well, sadly, he passed away, I guess, this morning or mm -hmm. something. But... And look, 72 this... is not old at all. I mean, come on, like 72 years is very young. My dad is 82 already mm -hmm. and my mom is 75. So it's, I think, a little bit too too soon to, to leave. But I mean, you know, we never know. Yeah. You know, so. All right. You're going to say something? Well, I just wanted to say that I have the album in front of me. So that's great. I love it because I like to look at it and like kind of open it up. And I like just opened up a page and I saw like an image and just really quickly it says, as yes, we're always looking over the horizon as Alan is fond of saying, well now was fond of saying, uh, vocalist John Anderson and guitarist Steve Howe feeling their oats over precious successes decided to pursue a long scale project. And then it talks about what you said, Paramahansa Yogananda and a bunch of other stuff in the album too. But I thought it was nice, like looking over the horizon. Alan was fond of saying that. So may you be looking over the horizon now. Yeah. So let's get started. Thank you again, George. Thank you, Alan, for everything you did. Thank you to Yes for in general, providing us with this sound. So yeah. let's get started and let's remember with the remembering 
slash yeah. hi the memory to Mr. Alan White. All right, here we go. All right. I love this. drums yet. Sounds like a fretless almost. But Chris and John. Yes. Typical, yes, like 
they start and then you're basically being transported mm -hmm. to a different dimension mm -hmm. it's like i feel like alice literally yes. going into the rabbit hole rabbit hole and then just like going <laughs> and how floating the rabbit hole goes yeah and you just go down and down and you get into <laughs> the psyche <laughs> it's literally a trip because mm -hmm. like yes are so unique yes and um Yeah, I've loved everything so far. I mean, <laughs> Me just to set up the whole lyrical approach. Yep. And I mean, there was like one little like fill from Alan White. Mm -hmm. But the flute is beautiful. The acoustic guitar. The keys. The, the keys, bass. The bass. Yeah, amazing. Chris taking his time, getting into great it. Great intro, great setup. And now we're going a little bit more yeah. psychedelic. Like, yes. I don't know. Rick was doing something there. But yeah. I'm loving it so far. Thank you so much for being here. It's very special. And we have this cover here. Like Dream Theater does that when they record. They have all these like inspirational records in front of them, like Dark Side of the Moon. Oh, that's the cool. I didn't King know Crimson. that. Yeah, they do that. And so when Alexia put this cover, she put it like here, like the other like way in front of us. <laughs> So we yeah. can watch it. Yeah. And that's why I said, oh, this is uh -huh. what Alexis is doing. So, yeah. yeah. But we're trying to, it's, it's falling. So, yeah. Okay, <laughs> Maybe. let's continue with the journey. Yes, there, a little bit. <laughs> Enjoying our microphone. Yes. Okay, let's go. All right. Wait, don't 
That was just beautiful right now. That wow. Rick Wakeman section. Mm -hmm. That was like freaking amazing. I was like. Like it's like the opening doors yes. of like heaven. Yes. And I was looking at the cover like behind that stone. Like mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah. Good. And it's great because like you open it and there's a whole other part mm -hmm. there with like the fish and. It's oh, wow, that it's was amazing. So good that part, and that that was like an idea of Rick Wakeman, I'm sure, mm -hmm. because he did the chords and the, the melody there, and then it changes. It's so unpredictable. Yes, yes it's so unpredictable. Like I, I never know what to expect. They're so adventurous, like when it comes to music. I agree. And I, it's so I love that John is such a mystical figure, and he's he reminds me of my mom. I, I yeah. was going to say because that he reminds like, me of, like, my Aunt Patty, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just always dressed and in white. And you're also very and... like that. That's why you all, they say you always end up with the with your parents, you know. Mm -hmm. So what when I met Alexia, that's what was very attractive, that mm -hmm. mystical. And, the, you know, she was wearing all this stuff from India. And she was into <laughs> yoga. And I was like... Yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. what I like. So yeah. yeah, I also wanted to mention one thing really quickly. When we started the video, um, literally it hadn't even been going for like ten seconds, and George McDowell sent us a message on Patreon. <laughs> so I wanted to mention that because he, I, I couldn't read it, but I got the little buzzing on my watch. So I wanted to give a so. shout out to George because. We're clearly <laughs> on the, yeah, exactly. On the same, same wavelength. Frequency. So, um, did he mention something about, I don't know. I that? don't know. I mean, we can read it when we're done, but okay. I can assume that it's, um, about Alan. it's about Alan or even if it's not about Alan, just the you fact that reply him in the video. So when he sees it, he's going to be like, Whoa, they're breaking <laughs> the fourth wall. <laughs> yeah, I could open the message, but Let's after sure. the song, maybe. No, I mean... Just to on. give the song some continuity, I'm really invested okay. in what's going okay, on. Okay, let's see. All right. Well, we salute you. Yes, George. Your eyes imagine all the glorious challenge. I'm mental cast <laughs>
Steve. a great way i think to remember oh. alan i think <laughs> i know you're having a hard time over there oh god <laughs> oh boy it's it's i can't help it i, I can't know. help it i know but it's i'm not crying because i'm sad i'm crying because this music evokes so much emotion i know and i'm like God damn it, you know, like, when are we going to get this back? Yeah. I mean, we still, thank God, they recorded it. And also I saw in the notes that Stephen Wilson, of course, who else? Oh. Um, remastered it in 2016. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's like the... He is the master he's like the recorder. Master, <laughs> like, he's like, I don't know, like the messiah, like, who came from, I don't know, from where... And said, oh, I'm going to remaster everything ever recorded that's good, you know? Like, somebody's going to remaster everything the done Messiah. by Rush. I love that. But... No, but... Yeah, oh, it's and just it's like funny I, that you mentioned I, I'm Rush. just sad because, like, one of this me these this members yes. left us today, mm -hmm. you know? And that's what kind of, like, gives this whole song a different meaning yeah. to me. Because I'm like, it's 49 years old music. It's going to be mm -hmm. 50 years old next year, this album. Mm -hmm. and, and and I'm, we're listening to this for the first time. And, and I'm so happy that it's captured because mm -hmm. there's going to be kids 20 years from now. They're going to be like sitting here and be like blown away. Yeah, hopefully. This music is never going to get old. It's never going to be past it's not yeah. like all this or us in crap. 20 years listening to this or i know we can see ourselves in 20 years <laughs> we can watch the video in 20 years and say oh we were young but i mean all this other crap that's being recorded like cardi b and oh god like all this bullshit <laughs> sorry i mean all this music nobody's gonna remember that mm. in 20 30 years but this Mm -hmm. It's gonna be remembered. Yeah. This is music. Yeah. You see, like all this, like it's so sad. Like, uh, <laughs> like, and they're and and they're treating these people like royalty. You know. Oh yeah. Like who who sang at the Oscars the James Bond theme, Billy Eilish. Oh, Billy Eilish. Seriously. When well, there's, when yeah. There's so much talent. I mean, okay. I've heard she. She is talented, yes. I guess. But I mean, come on. There's so much people with much more chops you know mm -hmm. better chops i mean even though she did a great job i don't want to hate on on her but i mean it's just like i'm so frustrated with today's musical like you know like mm -hmm. all these good bands they don't i don't know the radio just sucks you have to like literally go on special state stations to listen this 
But well, I'm rambling. So yeah. Let's continue. Let's continue. I love I John love this song. I love and this Rick is literally together. one of my favorite songs Me too. I've heard because Me too. it's so it's angelic so un- in so many ways. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Alan. George. Thank you, George, for making us, you know, sit down and yes. do this. We love you guys. Uh yes. we love the, the channel. whole channel is so heartwarming. It's amazing like mm-hmm. you have no idea and yeah i agree i agree <laughs> you guys have really brought so much joy into our lives this song being a true example of that um just the fact that again like i'm looking at this and this means so much right now because the cover goes with the music and then i think oh my gosh we own this because one of you sent this to us and we are listening to this because one of you asked us to and we have <laughs> everything inside all the knowledge that we've like acquired, acquired. in the last year, year and, a and a half is insane you know it's and 40,000 people later yeah. because we like wow I can't even yeah. fathom that when I look at the subscription count I'm like how did this happen <laughs> You know, in a I mean, blink of an eye it, it's insane yeah. like uh i can't thank everyone enough you know yeah. it's just insane and we really have so much joy and it really made everything so much easier through through the pandemic oh yes and we were just like we were we love we were we at that time it was like so healing to be able to stay home but do something yes, like this and exactly instead of losing your mind and you know so exactly well okay all we, right we've talked enough yes i'm sorry for the yes fans who are purists who like to listen to the whole <laughs> song in one go we apologize but we do have to speak our minds otherwise i'm gonna explode here yeah you know, like drown in tears <laughs> i know let's keep going yeah. to this wonderful tribute and thank you all on hills of long forgotten yesterdays As the most cold and little eternity Wait Rest sober moments Sleeping out in the sea
Wow. And if you see, that's disc one. I'm, so that's how the side would end, right? Yeah. I'm wow. literally like speechless. speechless. Like <laughs> this, I think, has been the best Yes song I've ever heard. I was... Because it was, it felt like, and I could all the entire time I was listening to this, I could see like, uh, that's how like, a, I think some kind of travel feels like like the soul you know yes because it's so crazy that today like mr white um like he passed away and he made that journey mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. to the other side and yes. we don't really know where right but i mean i think that's what you hear like mm -hmm. when your soul leaves or when you make that journey and uh it just was very fitting and that's what that's why i also lost my cool there for a mm -hmm. second and uh, it just happens. I just start to cry in new in movies. When, yeah. when, there, when there's a really cool soundtrack, it just gets me. Mm -hmm. But I, I could just like see him like traveling. And maybe he, he still is with his family. You know how... <laughs> I'm like, what you're saying and what I just heard these last 20 minutes, which seemed like... And I didn't want it to end. I, I know. Like, I didn't want it to Me end. Neither. I was like, I, and I was like, ah, oh, man, there's only five minutes left. And, uh, but yeah. Yeah. But like, honestly, you, you said it perfectly. I think that that's. <laughs> like both body. No, um, I, that's like, just like, I think that's what it feels like. That's what it sounds like. It sounded literally like somebody like transcending, mm -hmm. you know? from and i believe in that we just don't it's not just like and everybody i don't want to offend anyone if you think that when you die you just there's like black that's your thoughts mm -hmm. but i think that we do live on mm -hmm. like dream theater says it and rudy just told me the other day the spirit carries on mm -hmm. um uh shout out to rudy right there <laughs> but yeah because it does i mean that's my firm belief that when we die we go someplace else and he's having the blast right mm -hmm. now and maybe he's listening to all of his records you yeah. don't know yeah you know? yeah maybe he's like you know he did amazing work in his life and and, and it's being it was recorded and we can still enjoy it even though he's not with us anymore and that's such a great feeling you know? yeah and i think I'm very happy right now. Like, thank you, like, <laughs> Mr. Alan White and the whole band. And then Chris Squire, who also is no longer with us, but John Anderson, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, who else is... And, and, and Rick Wakeman, who, who made this track magical. Yes. I think the keyboards were so essential to make this, like, really... I think they Heavenly. all had, yes, you're absolutely right. That's but right. I think they all had their part because the guitar, there was like some awesome. Like the swelling, the volume the swell. Vol exactly. And that's what I was hoping mm -hmm. it was because that's what I kept picturing. And there was even some like acoustic guitar in there mm -hmm. at times. Yeah. And and every time, Alexia, the bass, when John the voices, comes in, yeah. like this, da, 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 becomes, he has like this really high, but it feels so like. It yeah. hits you. Yeah. Because every time John comes in, he knows exactly that it's his voice is just like an, any other instrument mm -hmm. of yes. I agree. You know, that's what makes them so special. And when John and Rick, like I said in the last pause, when they sing together, they're just absolutely powerful. Mm -hmm. They have such power it's between them. Unique. It's yeah. no no other band has that. That what's what makes yes. Yes and I remember the first time when we were listening to Yes, um, like our first reaction videos, I was like, wow, that's so great that John makes like a dub of uh -huh. himself. And then people were like, no, that's Chris. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, how can a bass player. Oh, Chris, I know. I keep Chris saying Squire. Right, Rick isn't. But yeah, Chris yeah. is the, yeah, 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 Chris. the backup. He obviously, yeah. yes. So but he could be easily the just the vocalist, the main vocals, and be equally mm -hmm. as good as John. Yeah, that's what I feel. When we did the Chris Squire like by himself, I was like, "This is like listening to Yes," mm -hmm. because he already has that style and he's classically trained. Yes, and the voice, 
goes so well with John's voice and vice versa. And then they found each other. How is it that they found each other? And then they're like <laughs> creating this. And it, that's why, uh, like you said, I also uh, believe that everything that they created was inspired off of like spiritual teachings and it's so present and in this like, track especially and then we go on wikipedia and we never do that and i see paramahansa yogananda and that's my mom's yogi and i'm like that makes it personal yeah for me, absolutely know? because i saw this man every day in my life I, and i can see his picture right road, now you know? because of that yeah he was always there he was like part of the family he mm -hmm. was always there you mm -hmm. know like somebody has a cross in their house or mm -hmm. jesus but my mom had paramahansa yogananda mm -hmm. i mean she had remember that cool thing yeah. where she had jesus and then uh krishna and then all these important yeah and one like they're all the altar. same they're mm -hmm. all the same jesus yeah, yeah. everyone was together in they her all, altar yeah yeah it's so cool so mm -hmm. man this has been so, so amazing <laughs> <laughs> this but has been a journey it's so great to be back you know because we did take a you know, I mean, we saw Stevie Dan and, mm -hmm. and we went and we went to New Mexico and we went to Oregon and Washington. But I did miss being here doing this, especially this kind of music. Mm -hmm. um, and just being at peace and everything that like just can go right in a piece of music did go right. And yeah. I mean, this is the second song of the album. There's four songs in the album. So when the LP you would flip it and get that B side which is the next song so it's just amazing that this yeah I'm sure in this in <laughs> 1973 this version, they, they had like two LPs with four sides oh because it's two discs so I'm sure oh. it was like oh so you think that song in itself was side B yeah yes of like the first disc. song was one and then you have to turn it and then we had the remembering, and then you would pull out another another, di another LP oh. because it just makes more yeah, sense time wise. You're right. I think you're so. right. You guys let us know. I'm mm -hmm. sure. I'm not. I, I can't say, but I think that it was double disc. Yeah, you're right. That makes more sense, I think. But thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you for to listening. To all us, like, of you blabbering. individually, yes, for being here. <laughs> thank you to George. Um, thank you to. Alan, thank you to all of the members of the band and to all of you who supported these bands back in the day, who went to the concerts, who like, you know, gave them your couple dollars that the concerts cost <laughs> at that time, yeah. uh, which is crazy. But yeah, and I, uh, it's amazing that their music is still being made this year. We listened to a song of theirs, oh, yeah. right? Remember? Yeah. Or was it? So it's only Steve Howe. Who's left? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, at least the name is being carried. I mean, a lot of people don't like the new Yes, but a lot of people didn't like the 90s Yes. So it's mm -hmm. always changes yeah. and it always keeps going. But just the fact that they're like, we don't care. We just want to make music and we want to express what we feel. And wow, mm -hmm. this song really was so, so fitting. It's I'm literally my favorite song of that I've heard so mm -hmm. far and it's not even a famous song it doesn't even have a million mm -hmm. but it, for me that's the song that has grabbed my attention mm -hmm. I guess not the most but in a most peculiar yes, way yes in a more personal way yeah. I think and also now I mean we know the band so much more than we did back then that oh, yeah. it, it is natural that it's going to hit also on another level with Alan's mm -hmm. passing, the Paramahansa Yogananda reference, the having the physical album it's in front of us. to read that book, the, the, the Yes book, or is that is it right, the one we have back there? Yeah, we have several. We have actually two that I can see from where I'm at right now. One that is right there and one that is right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but just read the book maybe close to the edge. And, oh, and close to the edge. Yeah. I, I started reading that. I'm like halfway through that mm -hmm. book. Uh, I have it maybe at my desk at work. you could do a work. live and That would be really cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. That Because that book is about 
Prague in general at that time. But anyway, thank you all so much uh, for your constant love and support uh, for everything that you do for us and really just for supporting everything that we've been doing. And um, we hope you enjoyed this with us. And of course, we hope to see you in the next one. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. everyone. Bye. Take care.